And Leah, activism was also part of this year's Oscars. Right, there's always a little bit of politics involved in this. You may remember Bana Al-Abad, the eight-year-old who was live tweeting from Aleppo, Syria during the bombings in 2016. Well, we're used to seeing her in war zones, but on Sunday, the Syrian refugee made her debut in Hollywood and at the Oscars, no less. We've been following Bana since she was in Aleppo, posting videos of what life was like under barrel bombs. Good morning from Aleppo. She left Aleppo at the end of 2016 and moved to Istanbul, where she started writing a book called Dear World. Even out of a war zone, though, she still posted videos like this, asking for Syrian for help for Syrian children. But on Sunday, her stage got a lot bigger. There she is there. It was during this Oscar-nominated song, Stand Up For Something, by Andre Day, featuring Common, that Bana stood on stage with 10 other activists. She didn't say anything, but her presence definitely started a Twitter storm. And not everyone was impressed by this. Some are still convinced Bana's messages during the bombing of Aleppo were acting and were fake, part of a scheme by the rebels to make the siege seem worse than it was. Tala here tweeted saying that Bana Alabed is at the Oscars. Wow, congratulations, queen of acting. Every one of your performances has been Oscar worthy. One man tweeted saying someone earnestly tweeted Bana, you haven't tweeted in some days. Are you okay? All the while, she was at the Oscars, he says. Others, though, like journalist Guthrie Greves Fitzsimmons, said he was simply amazed. And Bana, though, she has the final word here. She tweeted this picture with the caption saying, tonight we must stand up for the children who are dying in Syria. A child is a child, whether in America or Syria. We want to know what you think of her on-screen debut. Send me a message at Leah Harding AJE or use our hashtag AJNewsGrid.